and Marta has locked in Alistair. And I think that Marta said it in spring, give me Alistair and I will win you the game. A and lot he... of jungle attention in the LPL as now Marta goes for a roam. Oh, oh that's Marta. a flash pulverized. Fence Kevin's in trouble. Remember, there's no flash. First blood picked up to MLXG. And Marta headbutts him back onto the grounded zone there, so he can't ward hop away. Fence Kevin may want to change that. Collapsed on. Sonic Wave, ward hop. The Sonic Wave connects. Fence Kevin follows him over the wall, but MLXG's running at a mile a minute. Got He's got the close cube. down. Flash forward, Sonic Wave. Ooh. Dragon's Rage. Fence Kevin gets the kill. Is now going to be in trouble. The recipient of another dive. No flash available for Sven, but a good stun from the slicing maelstrom. This should be a relatively easy kill unless MLXG can get involved. Looking at the mini map, Shao who's coming up from the jungle. It's Sven's in bit. trouble. Onslaught of Shadows available. Oh. MLXG jumps out, but Sven gets away. Unfortunately, Horns has found Basic extends here. This is a really strange game oh. for RNG that I've seen. Sven Skeren has found oh. Shao who oh. delivers the shockwave. That was exceptional! TSM are not done yet. Uzi and Mata, they were going toe to toe. Sven connects with another Play one more time. Kicks him first, guarantees the Q land. Then oh, he followed him over, but Sorry, there's Jack got to jump back. Double lift's in trouble. He will yeah. go down. Uzi and Mata, they win the 2v2. Level 9 and 8. Now Biofrust is a target. Uzi and Mata decide not to dive. No unbreakable will, but here comes MLXG. On oh, Uzi from the looks of it. Oh, and it's they happening it again. again. This is not a replay. This is live. Biofrost gets taken down once more. RNG really focusing the rookie on the international. Be looking towards 5v5 team fighting because teams are beating them in the macro play. Speaking of which, there's the teleport from Looper. Oh, this is scary. TSM is slightly split. Horns is not going to double it yet. Marta gets a double knock up and double lift is down. Biofrost sends out the tidal wave. It does nothing. Horns is looking for Uzi. Sven Skeren's going to find him. That's a two for one so far, but it will not matter. Shockwave gets two. Bjergsen's forced to run for his life. A four for one in favor of RNG. And that is absolutely over. Obliterate him if he gets close. Good damage from Sven Skeren. MLXG can he use that speed boost to get up? But Bjergsen's caught. He's down. He's dead. They got him. Mata got him again. He's 100% kill participation. That was a flat. Can allow them access into TSM's jungle. Honsa gets caught once again. Grounded by uh, that Cassiopeia Shao, who now trying to back away. Kill on Tomata. Sven Skeren forced out. Red buff traded for Mata's life. So this. Oh. Again, looking for it on the hunt. Good oh flash. Oh my goodness. Recovery man knock up. TSM are getting destroyed. They've already lost two. Bjergsen and Svenske are trying to run for their lives. The shock is already used. Hansa goes golden, but he's going to get taken down. Knocked up once again by Mata. Mata still with 100% kill participation. RNG go for Baron. And that was just TSM not respect. And they knew they really wanted to fight. Now RNG has five people of Baron. This would be a disastrous steal if uh, Svenske aren't able to get it. But Mata is so good on Alistair. The reactive flash by... Up. And it always works out. Yeah, that seems to be the case right now. Focus down the bottom lane. Haunter just gets dropped. So easy for RNG. Onslaught of Shadows and on the hunt with Baron buff. They're pushing the tower. That's the thing. They have an Alistair also light favorite against RNG. And it really depended on how well RNG had practiced since their disappointing final in the LP. Uh -oh, uh -oh, Looks uh -oh. like they practiced pretty well. Another easy kill. And just one more time, not respecting vision control aim. Because you have to remember, Sven Skarin was styling on RNG's jungler earlier on. On the hunt was thrown down, in fact. Yeah, they see Bjergsen, Bjergsen again. Shockwave doesn't hit anybody. Bjergsen just gets run down. Cut through like a hot knife through butter. 50 seconds on the death time in RNG. They're setting their sights on the inhibitor turrets. TSM at this point in the game look out of sorts. They have been caught so many times. And now Sven tries to go in. They're trying to engage. A lot of damage on the Shaohu. That is the shutdown. But the equalizer gets on back into Sven Skerritt. Hornsa, the gate is closed. He gets booted backwards. Knocked out goes Golden. Will get shut down by RNG. MLXG's not done. Mata finds double it. And Uzi gets the triple kill with the boomerang. And they go back for the base. And with no no hesitation, RNG pull the trigger into the base. They're gonna open this one up and it might even be game.
Yeah, Bjergsen's still down for 15. 40 seconds on Hanser and Dublift. Uzi is huge. Seven kills. They're going for the game. They are indeed. The Nexus turret is the focus. MLXG's got a GA. Not even going to need it. Nexus turret number two. RNG take down TSM. RNG destroy the hometown heroes and are victorious against Team Solo Mid. And after the events that transpired before this game even happened, the Aurelian Saul pick by RNG, not being able to play it, having picks and bans remade, and Lee Sin taken away from them, they let none of this phase them. They played smart, they played respectfully, and they played dominantly against TSM. And they were willing to give up that early game advantage, continue to seed out objective after objective, two turrets, two dragons, but when they felt they were strong, they are still such a decisive team fighting team. And they really did show that against North America's best. What a message RNG have sent